This is John Mannering of Rigzone. I'm at an offshore technology conference in Houston with Chris Blackford of Sky Futures. Chris, tell me about Sky Futures. What do you do? Uh, Sky Futures, we're, we're a data collection business uh, using drones as a tool to collect data. Mm -hmm. uh, we work in oil and gas, uh, we work all over the world, we have offices here in Houston, Aberdeen, and Colorado, uh, we collect inspection data. So we will inspect offshore structures, refineries, uh, anything from live flares to under the deck of the platform to the top side structure. So we don't replace rope access, we're a complementary tool providing first line inspection services. I see first line inspection. Can we see one of these drones? Sure. Okay, drone. Tell me about it, what's it spent? Right, so this is a drone, it's called the Falcon 8. It's an octocopter, it has eight blades, as you can see here. Uh, it's V-shaped, which means the front, we have an unimpeded view, so we get very clear data. Uh, and we carry a sensor here, we carry anything from um, high definition video, still camera, thermal camera. Uh, we're also developing things like laser measurements and uh, air gas sensing as well. So for us, it's all about sensor. But it's a highly capable aircraft. We have been operating offshore for four years. Uh, we can fly in winds of up to 29 knots. So for such a small little thing, it's really quite capable. What's it weigh, about four or five pounds? Um, two and a half kilos. Two and a half kilos. Sure so the yeah, four, five, four and, five and, half and, half and a half. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And what's the future of this technology? I understand that at the moment you need a inspection engineer, you need uh, a pilot to operate it, so two people. But I understand that these could one day be fully automated. Well, our vision is, is total autonomy. Our vision is a drone on every single platform as well. Uh, and those drones follow a schedule, they will operate themselves. They will collect data, and that data will come back to our servers, which we then analyze. So it's, a, it's removing the human being from the loop, essentially. How soon could we see that? Uh, I'd say there are a number of issues here. There's a regulatory issue, there's also compliance, how, how confident, uh, comfortable they feel. In terms of technology, you're probably talking two to three years. Okay. Uh, but for us, it's an iterative process. The next step is to go from two people to one person. Right. Uh, and that's automating the drone. So the guy, the pilot, is there just to so you can watch over it. I think so. Okay, so that's been John Mannering for Rigso. Uh, thanks very much, Chris, for um, giving me some of your time. And thanks for watching.